Hi everyone. So this is lecture 15 where we are going to learn about anchor tag. So in HTML, the anchor tag is denoted by A and it is used to create hyperlinks. Hyperlinks allows user to navigate between web pages or resources. I will explain you briefly so that you can understand. I'm going to create a anchor tag here. Inside anchor tag, I'm going to write Google. Now I will show you in my web page, it's reflecting Google. Let me open the Google web page. So let me copy this URL of Google and close it. And here I'm going to take a href attribute. I will explain you what this href will do. And the copied link, I'm going to paste it here. After pasting the link, I'm going to save my file. So what happened? This link become clickable. When I click on it, I will navigate to the Google page. So href attribute specifies the URL or destination of the hyperlink. In this way, we can create lots of links. We have a Flipkart, Facebook. As per our choice, we can create a link. By, by taking href attribute. Now I'm going to take another anchor tag. And inside this anchor tag, I'm going to take some text as open in new window. Let me save this file. So you can see open in new window, but here I want some break line so that it will not come in one line. It will come in one another line. Let me take a BR tag. BR is for break line and it will create a space. Okay, so open in new window is not clickable. And here also I am going to take href attribute. Inside href attribute, I am going to paste the same Google link that I had copied before. Let me save this file. Now you can see the same, the both the link works same, but what I want here when I click on the Google, it will open a Google page. And in the same way, it will also open the Google page. But now I want, it will open the Google page in a new web page. So for that, what can I do? I can take another attribute with name target. Inside target, I'm going to take the blank, the new web page is open and that Google link is open in a new page. So for that, I'm going to take a underscore. Inside underscore, I'm going to write blank. What had happened here, you can see, when I click on the Google, it will open a Google page. But now, when I click here, it will open a Google page in a new web page. So this is the difference between both. If we take a target, it will open in a new window. And uh, if we don't take a target, it will open in the same web page so basically target open the link document in a new browser window or tab we have some internal link as well internal link like in this way i am going to take anchor tag again inside anchor tag i am going to write go to section after writing go to section i want to take a href and i want to give my own some link of my web of, of my file. So for that, I'm going to take hashtag and inside hashtag, I'm going to write section. Here inside document, you can see we have index.html. But after, you know, giving the reference hashtag, what had happened? Let's see. Uh, let me save this file so that I will show you. After saving this file, you can see go to section. So when you click on this link, go to section, hashtag section will, will showing on a above URL. So in this way, you can add lots of uh, internal links and you can create internal links by using hashtag symbol followed by the ID of the target element. We have one more important link that is phone number. Let me show you that as well. If you have to... Here is my anchor tag. Inside anchor tag, I'm going to create call us. Let me save this file. Now it's call us is not clickable. For making it clickable, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take href attribute. Inside href attribute, I'm going to take TEL. 
what is this TEL? TEL is used to create a link that prompt the user to make a phone call. So let's take some random number. And here I'm going to take random number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Let me save this. So when I now when I click on this call list, it will give me a random, you know, prompt phone call. So when I click on open, pick an app. So there are lots of app is open in front of me. Let me remove this. And again, when I click on this callers, if I want to cancel it simply from here, I can cancel it as well. Now, another thing is that we have some linking files also. If you have any file and if you know the reference, like we have a PDF, like document.pdf. Inside reference, we have to put that link and we can open that PDF as well. So you can link to various file types and uh, clicking the link may download it or open the file depending on the browser and the file type. So the anchor tag is a fundamental element for creating a connected and navigable web experience. So I'm ending this video lecture here only. In the next video lecture, we are going to learn about image tag and its attribute and so more. So more.